Welcome back to Grandpa's time. Hey, grandkids. Hope you're having a good day. I sure am. Since I'm in Hawaii, I wanted to do a video about an interesting person from Hawaii named Eddie Aikau, a famous surfer. He did a lot more than surfing, and I'm going to talk about that in this video. Eddie was born May 5th, 1946 uh, in Maui. Uh, his family moved to Oahu. When he was 16, he dropped out of school and got a job at the Dole Pineapple Plantation where he saved up enough money to get his, get his first surfboard. He was the first lifeguard on Oahu's North Shore, Waimea Bay, and he covered a pretty big area. Rescued over 500 people from drowning. In 1971, he was named Lifeguard of the Year. Not one life was lost while Eddie served as lifeguard there. Uh, sometimes the waves reached 30 feet or more and it didn't matter because Eddie would go and that ended up becoming a, a slogan. You can still see the bumper sticker sometimes in Hawaii where it says Eddie would go. He he was a really good surfer. He won a couple really big contests. In 1978, the Polynesian Voyage Voyaging Polynesian Voyaging Society was seeking volunteers for a journey to cross the ancient route of the Polynesian migration between the Hawaiian and Tahitian island chains. At age 31, Eddie joined the voyage as a crew member. And the uh, voyaging canoe developed a leak in one of the hulls and later capsized. Eddie paddled toward Lanai on a surfboard to try to get help. The rest of the crew of that boat was ended up being rescued by the Coast Guard, but Eddie was never seen again. He had removed his life jacket because it was hindering his paddling of the surfboard. And the search for Eddie was the largest air sea rescue in Hawaiian history. There's a memorial surfing invitational. It's uh, the first Eddie, the, they nicknamed it the Eddie. Uh, the first Eddie was held in 1985. In 1987, Eddie's younger brother Clyde won the first Eddie when it moved to Waimea Bay. The tournament up to now, the tournament's only been held eight times because the ocean open swells have to reach a minimum of 20 feet so that they have a wave height, a wave face height of over 30 feet. When everyone talks about him, they talk about what a humble guy he was. I, I still find it fascinating that one guy rescued over 500 people from drowning. And when you think about, you know, what did those people go on to do that they wouldn't have done or their families it, it just kind of blows my mind that he rescued 500 people thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one